out at the Howard's Way media day. None of that. Um, Peter Reid, uh, sat below a picture of the man himself. Right. Ideal. Uh, Howard brought you to Everton in 82. Within yeah. three years, he'd won PFA Player, Player of the Year. He'd won the European and League double. Mm. Um, what made that relationship work so well? Because if I'm correct in saying you linked up with him later on in Manchester City, didn't you? Um, well, when he signed me, I failed the medical. Um, so it was a big call because he was, uh, you know, it wasn't all rose at the time. So I think he signed me and Andy when we both failed our, our respective medicals. So it's a big leap of faith, isn't it? Yeah. You know, signing somebody. And, uh, it's fair to say my first training session wasn't great. I've heard. Uh, Celebrated the right oh, way. I'd, yeah. Uh, I was oh, I was diabolical and bouncing <laughs> off me. I couldn't run. I was seeing two of the ball, and uh, he pulled me afterwards and said, and I said, I own up. I, I, I got bevied last night. I'm a disgrace. <laughs> and he said to me, uh, Do you like a drink, lad? And I went, Yeah. And he went, You've got a great time. You've got a great chance at this football club. Now, it's funny, but the sports psychology behind that is brilliant because I'm running through a brick wall for this fella mm. and that's ultimately what I did and, and certainly the squad of players did and that was that was uh, great management and great psychology for you yes. and he had that, he had that in abundance. Yeah, how was that settling in process? Obviously like as a, as a local lad, I know you grew up a red mm. but coming into the side rather than being someone who's come through the ranks mm. How well, did they find it? Um, well, I, I did alright first, then I got injured. Shock, horror. Um, so I had this, I done my knee again, so I had a spell of like in and out. Um, but you know, when you sign for a, a club like Everton and it's got a, well, it is traditionally massive and a great history, it's something that you want to make. You want it to work, of course. you want to do your best for it, and obviously the success of, uh, over the park made it magnified. So once we got it going, it was a great place to be, and, and hey, playing at this uh, stadium, when it's rocking, it doesn't get any better. And fortunately for me, even though it's a long time ago, I was part of a team that made this stadium rock and it was great. It was of course, brilliant. and what seemed like a catalyst to propel us to really compete alongside Liverpool for honours was the appointment of Colin Harvey. Uh, yeah, I think From, that's from reserve to yeah. first team coach. How did he compliment Howard as, as his assistant? Well, Mickey was involved, he was bubbly, but uh, Colin was uh, really good in the training pitch, uh, where you, you were always at it. Um, great personality. Uh, two of them were great players in their own right. Um, and, and to be fair, they used to join in on the other occasion, and you could tell yeah. the, the, the ability they had. So they set standards, and you know, high standards, and we got to them high standards. And um, you know, every if you fell just below that, you were told in no uncertain terms, mm. and that's. That's good manager, it's a good coach. Yeah, you mentioned obviously there, there were some nights where you had this place absolutely rocking. Mm -hmm. and, and as you'd imagine, a good portion of this, this film is dedicated to that, that second leg, yeah, your, yeah, European yeah. semi final against Bayern Munich. What I found particularly interesting from yourself is almost like a, a tactical analysis saying that in, from the first leg, how Howard had set up his midfield yes. yeah. was just. Perfect. Could you just yeah. del delve into that sort of tactical side of things? Well, I think she was um, struggling with the ankle. Andy um, wasn't 100% because I think we had a semi-final against Luton. We, we went away to Munich on Wednesday, then we had a FA Cup semi-final. So I think Alan Harper come in, mm. Kevin Richards should come in on the right side, Harper on the left, or might have been the other way around. Me and Brace, and then he played Trevor Stephen off Sharpie. And um, they were a good side, and um, we uh, we sort of condensed the middle of the park and made it a tight game. And tactically, the manager got right on the day. You know, to go to go to a place like that and, and come away, you know, with a draw and yeah, not conceding. 
it was uh, it was a terrific result. Terrific. Brought it back to our yeah, place. Yeah, it was clever, clever. Obviously, uh, a lot's been said about the atmosphere, um, how that felt for the players, particularly like standing there waiting to go out in the tunnel. Yeah, how how before the game, sitting there changing room. What were the what were the emotions? Mm. How were well, you feeling? Well, I tell you what, it, it, the October we we gone to Liverpool and won one nil Sharpies goal. Yeah. The following Saturday we beat Man U five nil. On the Wednesday we had to go to Old Trafford in the League Cup. Now why I'm saying this, them ten days we beat Man United home and away, good team, mm. and we won at Anfield. That gives us the confidence, put us in good stead for that Bayern Munich game. You know, even though it's a massive game, semi-final, you're playing against Mateus Lerby, Eigen Tyler, Honess, whoever, Dremler, whoever. We know we could play, we could take on the best in the world and beat them. Yeah. So it was just that, uh, I mean, the place was rocking. I, I, I just, uh, I remember going out for the warm-up and it was, it was uh, Adrian Heath who was injured, did uh, something for Granada reports on the telly and he come in, he says, it's packed. He said it's it's like 45 minutes for the kickoff. He says it's chocker. He said and it's the atmosphere is unbelievable. We went out and you just knew then there was something special about the atmosphere. And then we had to go and make that special atmosphere, make it if you like work on the park. Make it count. And we did, we did. Course, yeah. And it was it was tough because they they nicked one ahead, and obviously we got to get two then. And they were a good side. But I'll tell you what, uh, I, I, I've got to say. The crowd did help us on that day. Yeah. The, well, without a doubt. The, that that's that's, there. Yeah, that's, that's the quote, That's it. it. And, and it's right. That's all he, he, he said. That he said that, and um, the crowd certainly spared us on in that game. And uh, how could I? We blew him away. Second half, we blew him yeah. away. Watching that game back, I wouldn't be surprised if you've still got some bumps and bruises from it. To be honest, yeah, I had very... six stitches at half time in really? the shin injury. The geezer did me a beauty, beauty. Um, but hey, listen, he, uh, the doctor put the stitches in, and in, f in fact, I went to hospital after the game, and the lads were all on the lash in town, and I was in Lourdes with my feet up because the leg had swelled up. But I played on the Saturday. Wow, like just things like that you mentioned there, you know, the, these quick turnarounds between, you know, cup games, European games, league games, particularly with someone who's had a history of injury mm. problems. How did you, how did you well, keep yourself fit? <coughs> well, the, the, the semi-final against Luton, where we have seen it through an extra time, I was hopeless. Oh, I was useless, couldn't move my legs. Oh. In fact, the, I only started playing the next time. I couldn't get myself going. Brace was brilliant, Brace did all the work. Yeah. And Brace was brilliant. And then she, the, who, Kevin, who'd missed the game, like uh, bobbled one in but, and then knocked it. A free kick, which was Kevin Sheedy. If you know, if you wanted anybody in the world to hit a dead ball and get it in the right area, Sheedy was there. Sticks it on Derek's head, and it goes in the net. But what what it is, uh, even though it was tough coming back, we have seen it through. I mean, sometimes in football matches, you're not going to play well all the time. But if you've got a, a desire to not get beat and to win games shows through and that's what that squad of players and I include Alan Harper and Kevin Richardson who was absolutely outstanding Brilliant squad and that's players. and that well great players and they're great characters and, and that's what we had. That's what we had and, and, and Luton were a good side, a tough side um, and it was hard, Ricky Hill, Mick Harford, Foster, Don I want to say, Montfield had a broken nose on that, Yeah, we see it, well, if you're playing against McArthur and, and, and Luton, <laughs> it does get a bit physical. And Mick's a great pal of mine nowadays, so. Yeah. But it was, hey, it was, it was a good time to, it was a great time to play football, and it was a great, great club. But for me, a really good, balanced football team who had the, de who had the desire and an ability to, to play football and then, you know the goalie who was the best in the world. So was he? he was Did the you best. say so? Oh, without a doubt. Yeah, without a doubt. Well, I think the the general consensus from my family fans, they said that European Cup winners cup final against Vienna was a bit of a non-entity because that you know that Bayern Munich game almost felt like the final. What, what was the, the mentality going into that? Obviously we got the job done, but did we feel, the, the did we feel like it was won before it was what the actually The mentality won? was Celtic had played them 
and had to play a rearranged game at Old Trafford because it got someone thrown some bottles on the pitch and Celtic had won it or drew it. So the game was played at Old and we were convinced. I went with Sharpie, Inchie, Andy Gray. We all went to Old Trafford and we said, Celtic are going to win this. And that was the end, I won 3 0. Mm. And we couldn't believe it. Now we just went, we're big things. Yeah. And it wasn't an overconfidence, it wasn't an arrogance, it was a belief. And we just knew we were going to win. And we did. That, all, all great sides have that, don't they? Yeah, well, yeah, 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 yeah. Self assured. It, it borders on arrogance. Yeah, I think it does, but it, it, it's, it, it's a supreme confidence in your teammates and in how you, you get the job done. And that's what we had. Yeah. Massive. Uh, how did, because from what I've heard, obviously, like my dad has said, from from going to Rotterdam, you had to make it back in three yeah, days. Yeah, it was tough. It was tough. To, yeah. to Wembley. Do you, do you think that, obviously, you've just won Everton's first major European honour? Yeah. Celebrated a bit too hard there, or? Well, it, 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 listen, we had an FA Cup. We played on the Wednesday, we got back Thursday morning, we had an FA Cup final. But if you're a successful team, it comes with it. Yeah. I, by the way, I hope we're like this in the next few, few years. I certainly You know so. what I mean? I'd, I'd settle for that now. Everton be, being in big semi finals <laughs> and finals within a few days, because you know you've got a good side. I'd certainly like to hope so. Yeah. Um, just want to ask as well, obviously, you, evolved, you were involved in that England setup. Uh, the, yeah. the Mexico World Cup worked under another fantastic manager in, yeah. in Sir Bobby Robson. He, his, his influence is, is still prominent in football yeah. today, I feel, you know, with the likes of Mourinho. Very Guardi enthusiastic man. Guardiola. Yeah, I was going to say, yeah. in terms of his methods, how did he compare to, to Howard? Uh, very similar, very enthusiastic, good knowledge about the game, and um, belief in his players. He had a great belief in his players, um, and, and that's what shone through. You know, because uh, in in the Mexico campaign and then in the um, European Championships and then the next World Cup, he got a lot of stick. Yeah, Bobby Robson, but he's seen it through, and he, and that's where you have confidence in your players and you back your players, and it's a gift. Just to end as well, obviously down to St George's Hall tonight to to watch the film. Looking forward to it. I am. Yeah, Sharpie's seen it. I I haven't seen it. I'm looking forward to watching the movie and I'm looking forward to loads of red wine and getting absolutely, well, having a few. Mm -hmm. I can't say what I wanted to say in camera. No, certainly. But you know what I mean, don't you? Yeah, I do. Peter, pleasure, mate. Thank you very much. Take care.